Yatruk Shah is joining me now from the American Physiological Society, and I know that you are the Bowditch Lecturer. First of all, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your research and this critical topic of a connection between inflammation and cancer. Yeah. So my research actually started out looking at mechanisms of inflammatory bowel disease, which is an idiopathic, idiopathic inflammatory disease of the intestine, which affects over a million people in the U.S. and even more in Europe. And what's interesting is that this is a disease that's multifactorial. So there's a genetic component, there's a microbiome component, an environmental component. And one of the more serious complications of the disease is colon cancer. And so my research interest is really trying to link that bridge between how does an inflammatory disease progress into cancer. And specifically, we look at how oxygen tension in a cell can affect progression to cancer. And so what's amazing or fascinating to me is that every cell in our body can respond to changes in oxygen levels. And inflammatory bowel disease, those cells actually have a decrease in oxygen tension due to the damage, due to cells that come in, due to nutrient requirements. And we think that hypoxia is an important component in driving carcinogenesis. And so my lab looks at different aspects of how that oxygen tension is affecting the progression to cancer after uh, being diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease. And then let's look forward. If you know the cause and effect, then perhaps you may be able to do something to prevent the cancer or better treat it. Exactly. So we're in a pretty exciting time. And so these downstream pathways which affect oxygen tension in a the cell, they're mediated by a couple transcription factors called hypoxia-inducible factor 1 and hypoxia-inducible factor 2. And we're at a time now where these can be pharmacologically targeted to either inhibit or to activate. And so we think that this is directly applicable to treatment. And so if we find out more about what these, what oxygen and what these transcription factors are doing, we can have better treatment to try to target some of these transcription factors um, in, uh, in the progression from inflammation to cancer. Clearly that quest for knowledge is very fulfilling, but then when you begin to see the findings and then now getting the Bowditch Lecture Award, how does that feel for you? It was an exciting feeling. And so uh, when I uh, it came in through email and I was extremely excited. And so if you look through the past winners, it's a humbling experience because some of these are seminal people in science. And so to be part of that was a truly an honor and um, I'm humbled by it. There's such great science and, and such great minds coming together at this meeting here. How does that help you as you go back to your lab afterwards? Yeah, I, I think to me this meeting is great in the sense that there's a, a large breadth of science that's happening here. And so my lab on one aspect looks at how inflammation drives cancer, but some of these hypoxic transcription factors that come up also have roles in resolving inflammation and so there, there's a good and bad side to them and so we study both aspects and coming to a meeting here you get insight into both aspects of inflammation disease, general physiology, nutrient absorption and so I think going to all these sessions helps us kind of define uh, some of the mechanisms that we want to look at beyond what we're doing currently in the lab too. To me it's a unique meeting in that sense that it brings a large number of scientists that could be in different disciplines and that we get to crosstalk while we're at this meeting. And that drives new ideas. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome.